Competition for your eyes is gearing up with video streaming giant Netflix preparing to launch here and in Australia next year. But with our tiny market already jam-packed with content providers, someone's bound to get hurt here. We're joined now by the editor of throng.co.nz, Regan Cunliffe. Regan, thank you for coming in. First of all, just explain for us how your Netflix's, Quitflix's, Lightbox type services differ from your other pay-per-view like Sky? Right, so the thing that Netflix has effectively done is create an environment now where people, viewers have been basically enabled and freed from broadcast schedules and advertising to sit down and watch what they want, when they want. So you still pay a regular subscription, but you choose your, you choose your life rather that's, than begin. That's correct. Awesome. So, good news for the consumers then that Netflix, the giant of them all, is coming here. Yeah, absolutely. It's very exciting. It's been on the cards for a while now and uh, here we are. Is it the beginning of the end for Sky? You know, if, if I was an investor, I'd be a little concerned. You know, I was watching the share price yesterday yep. and seeing that and thinking, well, you know, there's a few brave people there, but, you know, you've got an environment now where original content is being created by effectively a new TV network. So okay. spending a lot of money on that. Right, and now let's talk about two things. You mentioned content, the other, of course, is price. So, first of all, price-wise, how do you think your Netflix will compare to, your, let's say, your Sky subscriptions? So, Netflix, traditionally across all markets, is around about $7.99 US. Um, so, I'm expecting it's, we're going to see a price around about $9.99 New Zealand, maybe up to $12.99, if looking at how they're priced it around the world. Ten bucks a month, it's yeah. nothing, isn't it? Um, now, uh, the content-wise, though, we hear rumours that... All Although the states and Europe enjoy this this wealth of new, and you're saying new programming as yep. well, that we may not get that when they launch here. Uh, perhaps not. We'll get some of that content, um, but what we'll find is, you know, at the moment we've got a whole lot of rights that have been signed up by you know the incumbents here, the TVNZ's Media Works, Skies. Um, over time, we're going to see more of that because there haven't been the distribution channel for Netflix locally. Uh, you know, those rights have been assigned to other players in the market, so that will change. So that'll be a game, a game, uh, an ongoing game as such. Absolutely. Now, um, so how do you think this will play out? Because there's, 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 a, there's a, a very fast-growing uh, sort of battleground out there for your yep. quick flixes and your light boxes. Is this a case that Netflix is going to come in and just squash everyone? Uh, potentially, I mean, it, it comes back to that original content and original programming. Yep. You know, if the local incumbents that are here decide that, okay, you know, we want to invest in some good local content, absolutely, there's a real opportunity for them. Um, but, you know, you've, you've got a company that's 50 million plus subscribers. They've got a huge war chest available to them. So they could start actually making shows over here as well. Yep, they absolutely could. And the thing is, is you know, at the moment, Sky has been this dominant player in the market. And now, all of a sudden, they've got a real fight on their hands. Uh, very quickly, uh, a lot of people are already using Netflix. Uh, eight weeks ago, I had no idea that we could get it in New Zealand. And I've had it pretty much ever since, because I got lots of help <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I showed how dumb I was with it. Um, so you, what is it, something like 30,000 of us have Netflix yep. already? Perfectly legally. <laughs> um, so how will that alter things? Will people just sort of continue with that or do you expect everyone to jump over onto the local... Uh, no, you know, I, I think that the, the approach that Netflix is going to take is, you know, we want more subscribers in New Zealand. So if people are already paying for that US service, as I said before, you know, I expect that over time there'll be, a, you know, the difference in what you get from the local version and a US version is going to come closer and closer as we progress and rights change hands. And if Netflix really wants to dominate, they'll probably try and do that as fast as possible. Yeah, absolutely. Regan Cullen from throng.co.nz, thanks for your time. No problem.